I would like to acknowledge that this video is being filmed on the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to their elders past and present, and extend that respect to any Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander or First Nations people who may be watching this video today. everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner, and welcome to my September book haul. There are a ridiculous number of books here, so um, yeah, we're not going to waste too much time. Uh, I'm, we're going to go through all of the books, and then I have a book box that I haven't opened yet, so I'm going to share that with you. It is the Wolf Song Special Edition hardback book box that I ordered, so I thought I would open it on camera with you. So we're going to start off with some review copies that I received. You guys have heard me talk about these possibly already or you will be hearing me talk about them very soon if you haven't heard about them yet. I received a lot of review copies from Alan and Unwin recently, so there's a lot of kids, middle grade, picture books, etc. in this list. So there is You Are Loved by Liv Downing. There is Farbish by Nerida McMullen. Smarty Pup 1 Friends Forever by Ando. Runt by Craig Silvey. A Girl Called Corpse by Reese Carter. The Raven's Song by Zana Fralin and Bren McDibble. And Daughter of Darkness by Catherine and Elizabeth Call. So all of these books are going to have a separate video. I'll leave it linked on the screen once it is available. I'm not going to spend too much time rehashing them, otherwise we're going to be here forever. Okay, starting off with some young adult titles, I have two Australian young adult titles. There is Take a Bow, Noah Mitchell by Tobias Madden. This is going to be a queer young adult title. And also Night Lights by Sarah Epstein. This is a young adult thriller. And again, this is another author that I've read a lot of their books and I enjoy their YA thrillers. We have two nonfiction titles. So there is Our Iceberg is Melting by John Cotter. This was a book that was recommended during a professional learning series that I was participating in, so I thought I would pick it up so that I could read it. And Growing Up Wiradjuri, this is Stories from the Wiradjuri Nation, but edited by Dr. Anita Heiss. This is Stories from Aboriginal Elders. I have read this and reviewed this already. It's a really great little collection. It's super tiny. Then in terms of other adult fiction, I suppose, I have another book by Anita Heiss Titters, which is a story about friendship, I think. I need to read more Anita Heiss's fiction. And also Exiles by Jane Harper, which you have heard me talk about a lot. I love this book. It is the third and final book in the Aaron Falk series. It is Australian mystery suspense type book. Really, really fantastic. Absolutely loved it. I also have a new Star Wars book. There is The Princess and the Scoundrel by Beth Revis. I didn't realise this was coming out until Izzy and May had started talking about it and then I just had to buy myself a copy because it's Star Wars and it's Han and Leia. Why would I not read this? Then moving into my romance books, I had, I was very lucky to receive some gifts for my birthday in September. So thank you very much to the people who sent them to me. So from Tracy, I received Accidentally Engaged by Farah Heron, and I'm very much looking forward to reading this. I don't know heaps about it. I just remember seeing it and thinking that's something I wanted to try. So thank you, Tracy, for sending that to me. And then the gorgeous Brie from In Love and Words sent me the first two books and the novella in the Wild series by K.A. Tucker. So there is The Simple Wild, Wild at Heart and Forever Wild. I had the third book already but she sent me all three of these and I'm so very grateful because I love this series and that means I get to do a reread of them so that I can annotate them. And the rest are books that I have picked up for myself. So I did a trip to Big W which is sort of just like a, a big general store here and they've started stocking a lot of romance books because of TikTok. They're relatively cheap for books here in Australia. So I ended up picking two LMA's books, To Love Jason Thorne and To Hate Adam Connor, both of which I have read. These are the new illustrated covers, so I really wanted to add these to my collection. I also picked up Shattered Sea by Catherine Cowles. This is the fourth book in the Tad and Torn series. It is the book pick for the Chronically Courageous book club by Ava and Brie, so I wanted to read it. I'm really glad that I picked this up in physical copy because I really enjoyed the experience and it's a very pretty book. I also picked up Sally Thorne's new book. This was also at Big W. Angelica Frankenstein makes her match. So this was a lot cheaper than buying it online. So I'm very glad that I did pick it up and I will hopefully pick this up in October. And fingers crossed that I really enjoy it. Another book that I bought for October is The League of Gentlewomen Witches by India Holton. This is one of the books that I'm planning on reading for the Love in the Night readathon. The next book is Heather's Fault. And yes, I could have read it as an ebook form, but I wanted to have a physical copy to read. And that is The Gamble by Kristen Ashley. It's ginormous. And then you guys will have seen me unbox the Peculiar Tastes box, which I'll leave linked on the screen, but I did get the three books slash six stories that came in it. So there is The Demon's Bargain and The Death God's Sacrifice, The Hellmouth Guardian's Lover and The Vixen's Deceit, and The Captive Merman's Promise, our group by Zoe Castile, which is our group pick for the Love in the Night Readathon, and The Fae Queen's Captive by Sierra Simone. And then we have this big box, which has my special edition of Wolfsong. This box is from Book Addiction, which I'll leave linked down below. 
and this is the inside of the box. First up we have a book cushion, hang on, it's the right way up for me, it's the wrong way up for you, <laughs> um, which is awesome. I think I might put this on my bed for October. So many of my friends are going to laugh at this because there is a diamond painting in here. Excuse the crackling, but it's a howling wolf diamond painting. This is going to take forever because it's so blue. <laughs> I think this is going to be a summer holiday project because there's no way I'm getting this done during the term. We also have all of the little diamond painting tools and some chocolates. Check this out. So this is a wolf pin. It matches the front of the book. I'll show you in a minute. It's so pretty. This is by Just Hanging and is handmade in Melbourne. It's so pretty. And then there's the book, which is very safely wrapped in bubble wrap. Look, I loved you guys. I didn't even open this at all. So there is a bookmark from Book Addiction. Look at these end papers. So this is the Waterstones signed edition. So you may remember last month when I got my review copy of it in paperback and I said I'd ordered a hardback and then I'd ordered this box. So yes, I do have two hardbacks. A lot of, some of my copies are being, you know, re-gifted to other people because this is so pretty. It is orange underneath and it's been signed. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. And look, they match. So pretty! Yes, I'm being ridiculous. You guys know how much I love this series. Now I'm gonna to have to buy the Waterstones editions of all of these books. I don't normally react like that with books. I'm just very, very happy. All right, so those are the books that I acquired in September. Now I've gotta find somewhere to put them on the shelves. Actually, no, to be fair, most of these were already on the shelves unless they haven't been read yet, in which case they were sitting on my TBR card. So I just have to put them back on the shelves. Still a lot of books though. Thank you very much for watching. In the comments, I would love to know what did you acquire in September? Are there any books in here that you have also picked up and are planning on reading? I'd love to know your thoughts on them. If you wanna let me know that you're here but you don't wanna leave a comment, feel free to leave any kind of flower emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.